are you doing back so soon? Official friendship business. Spring training was awesome! Awesome! Dashie's got an awesome quota, and she intends to fulfill it before the opening credits. Help Applejack make my favorite cider. Dash didn't get the memo from the previous episode. No one knows who this yellow pony is, but she sure sounds a lot like Spitfire. The problem with that is we've never seen Spitfire without clothing. The epitome of obligatory Starlight. Starlight is just here. She doesn't say a word or do anything. That's a sin whether you love or hate her. Forget weatherproofing or security. Rainbow Dash needs her own entrance to the throne room now. She can't be caught on the ground like some kind of unicorn or earth peasant. Or maybe this window just broke. They simply have no way to order a replacement from the metaphysical contractor which installed it. Twilight knew Rainbow Dash was at the academy. The map summoned Dash just as she was leaving the academy. So not only did the map troll Rainbow Dash by making her rush home, but Twilight had plenty of time to think to meet at the academy, but instead stood around doing nothing during Dashie's entire commute home. Egg White Flipper. You know it's season 6 when our main character's entry is met with awe and wonder. Angel Wing's bracelets disappear for a moment, but thankfully the universe restores balance when she gets a second set. Also, speaking of the bracelets, Pony Creator is canon! You two are my favorite ponies in all of Equestria. Well, isn't that sweet? Spitfire interrupts a Make-A-Wish kid and somehow isn't worst pony. Welcome, Princess Twilight. What are you doing back so soon? Give the Alicorn a warm welcome and give the Wonderbolt an interrogation, why don't you? It's obvious who controls the military budget. This pony's name is Short Fuse? More like short on cutie marks. It's fresh in my mind from when I learned to fly. Rainbow Dash reminisces upon her first time at the Academy as if it was a long time ago, but Twilight's flight training was only shortly after that. Twilight goes through the door, but not before going through the wall. Twilight's magic glow falls off her horn. It's time for another game of Spot the Main Character. We'll ace that test with our wings tied behind our flanks. You know, the show has used the term wings behind my back in the past, but Sky had to take it one step further by involving his butt. He set the record for the fastest vertical acceleration rate. Based on what we later learn, was this record rescinded? Vapor is treated as a selfless victim in this predicament, but if she's responsible for knowingly cheating a record, then maybe she's not as innocent as she acts. Considering Vapor needs to remain under Sky to help him fly, it's a good thing he never decided to fly lower than this, otherwise they'd both become pavement Taste. I was voted best sneeze. <laughs> About 25% of the world's population has the photic sneeze reflex when looking at a bright light. Vapor Trail is in the 1% who experiences a sneeze reflex from merely thinking about sneezing. It's gonna be pretty obvious during the solo trials when he can't get enough air to do a flipping loop. They know Vapor is helping Sky, but they have no reason to assume he can't fly on his own. The idea of a Pegasus helping another Pegasus fly already has multiple layers of convoluted magic needed to facilitate such a thing. But the fact Vapor even has to anticipate Sky's moves before he does them is a whole different level of cartoon magic. Also, part of the reason we have to assume Vapor is special and magic is involved is because, otherwise, Dash is a horrible pony for not helping Scootaloo in a similar manner. Sky needs to be able to fly without you or he won't make it. Dash is vague about that meaning making the cut or meaning a Pegasus who can't fly surviving at all. I guess I haven't thought about it. I just want to be with my best friend. And we all know what best friend is code for. I can't believe I was able to keep up. That's the first nice thing I've heard you say about yourself. Rainbow Dash somehow misunderstood her disbelief in herself as a nice thing. Sky has never flown 20 feet in the air without Vapor's assistance. Has Vapor spent her entire life next to Sky without a moment of rest? The element of loyalty and the princess of friendship herself stand idly by while a life-changing argument escalates. We hear you whispering, Vapor. Plan on murdering Sky in his sleep? What? No! This is all my fault. No, it's my fault! Or maybe it's the fault of the pony who has been lying to her friend her whole life. To add to that, why is the map summoning the friendship gang only now if this has been a problem their entire lives? Hey, Sky. I thought I might find you here. Well, without Vapor's help, it's not like he has the ability to leave. I wasn't a natural at friendship. I got better. You hear that, introverts? You can get better, too. And now, I'm the princess of friendship. So you're saying I can be the princess of flying? No, Twilight, stop. Equestria does not need more alicorns. Rainbow Dash doesn't have a right arm. She also doesn't have a right foreleg. Sky, Vapor was never trying to steal your spotlight. Oh, is that what he was upset about? The whole lying since childhood thing seemed a lot more concerning, but okay. And Vapor... You shouldn't have been so content to take a back seat. Always being there to assist his flight every waking moment since childhood certainly does not sound like a backseat position. I don't want Spitfire to be mad at me. 
<laughs> Glad to know Dash is helping for the right reasons. Wonderbolt emergency. We gotta get back to HQ. I was just there. <sighs> <laughs> oh, by the way, the emergency involves multiple ponies live, so could we maybe move quickly? Ponies are normally called by the map after some sort of friendship conflict is detected. However, Sky and Vapor are best friends at the start. It's not until Dash and Twilight intervene that their friendship is truly endangered. In other words, this may be the first time the map was technically the source of a friendship problem. Did you enjoy these two new characters and their interesting dynamic? Well, too bad, because we never hear from them again! of friendship. Hey, Twilight! So, where am I going? The Crystal Mountains? Van Hoover? Here? We'll ace that test with our wings tied behind our flanks. My picture will go right up there. Next to yours. <laughs>